Prince Harry's acceptance of the Pat Tillman Award for service at the ESPYs uh, yesterday, the day before, sparked controversy, mixed reactions, concern, especially given that Mary Tillman, Pat Tillman's mother, had expressed her disapproval, calling Prince Harry a controversial and divisive character and suggesting that other veterans working within the community were more deserving of the award. But Prince Harry has worked very hard to help veterans and maybe uh, if there is a public award, the person who has put up the money, the person who has uh, put up the instigation for that award doesn't necessarily have very much say in who it goes to. It's a misunderstanding of the process, I think. In his acceptance speech, Prince Harry acknowledged the sentiments of Mary Tillman, emphasising the eternal bond between mother and son and expressed his respect for her advocacy of her son's legacy, but he still accepted the award. He dedicated the award to the veterans and the military personnel involved in the Invictus Games, underscoring its importance in promoting healing through sports for service members globally. Despite the controversy, ESPN and the Pat Tillman Foundation stood by their decision, highlighting Prince Harry's contributions through the Invictus Games. I think it's more than the Invictus Games. I think it's that this is his service in Afghanistan is part of his definition, self-definition. And the event was hosted by Serena Williams, who highlighted um, the issues, who, like Mark, she was, she was, she was, uh, she, she, she dealt with it all very lightly. She acknowledged the Sussex's presence, and who couldn't? Who couldn't? His involvement with the Invictus Games and his military service were key reasons for his for 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 the for the award celebrating a decade of support for veterans through the foundation he established but again just as Mary Tillman is not now responsible for the award so prince harry is not now responsible for the invictus games it it can and it has distanced itself from its founder. This is, this is one of the things that uh, has happened. And the award is given to an individual with a strong connection to sports who has served others in a way that echoes his legacy. I, I can't think of anything which is more appropriate to Prince Harry's activities. Um... He said that uh, he was shocked to have been chosen um, to uh, in, in uh, as such a controversial and individual person to have received this award. Um, actually, I'm sorry, uh, 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 Mary Tillman said this. Um, she said there are people who deserve it far more, who work in the veterans community and do extraordinary things to help them. These people don't have the money, resources, connections or privileges that Prince Harry has. I think they should be recognised. Well, they should. But because of Prince Harry's money, resources, connections and privileges, this issue has been raised to a level that it would never have been raised up before. Even somebody like, um, oh, Tobias Elwood, the veterans minister. No, it's not Tobias Elwood, it's Johnny Mercer, the veterans minister tried very hard to raise issues about the treatment of veterans uh, in Britain. And he didn't really manage to get as much mileage as Prince Harry, simply because Prince Harry is who he is, means the issues get talked about. And, um, and, and, and simply because he appears at events with his wife, in this case, um, she was wearing a long white dress with a neckline that was reminiscent of the Stella McCartney piece she'd chosen as her wedding reception dress. A stunning, um, a stunning display. And, and again, she always draws attention to her husband with the way she sort of lo looks at him and hangs on his arm. And 
I think, I think Marie Tillman Shenton, to give her her full name, is wrong to make a, uh, to, to speak out a, uh, about this. Um, because Prince Harry draw, you know, P P Prince Harry gives the award publicity. Um, he said, her advocacy for Pat's legacy is deeply personal and one that I respect. I think so. He still took the award, even if she didn't want him to do so. He didn't respect it that much, did he? At some point, I hope there'll be a mug with a hashtag Give Harry a Hug on it. In the meantime, can I urge you to go to my other channel, which is called Professor Tim's Thoughts, and I've just done a really long video about the life and activities of Julian Assange called Julian Assange Freedom and Sex. Please go over there and check out the video uh, give it a like, subscribe. It would be very useful to um, get the other channel working. I'm going to put on that other channel deep dives and educational videos. So um, if you also want to reach out and contact me and say, this is what I'm doing in my next year for A-levels or for GCSEs or in my university or... In my 11 plus, I would be so happy to put out videos that support you in your reading, in your analysis, in just providing some sort of engagement and enthusiasm for the academic process, the research, the collection of ideas, the... Uh, some sort of direction about interpretation, maybe, and so that you've got something to fight against. You may not like my interpretations, you may not like my ideas, but at least those are then ideas you can dismiss. <laughs> and enthusiastically so. Um, that is how, that is how discussion works. And opinionated, opinionated and um, engaged so I, I, the, I don't think even in 30 minutes I've got a completely comprehensive view of Julian Assange. And uh, I tried to be as clear as I possibly could be, but he is such a confusing and divisive and controversial figure. And I can't, I can't find a real way to justify keeping him in Belmarsh prison for so long and keeping him in solitary confinement no matter what he may or may not have been alleged to have done I find it very worrying and I find the parallels with for example Alexei Navalny Evan Gershkovich uh, and others striking and Julian Assange was somebody that we in the UK kept in prison without proper charge, simply because he had fled bail, simply because he had broken a bureaucratic rule. We knew exactly where he was at all times. This is questions about what can legitimately be reported about Ukraine or Gaza, of the rather than opening up debate. In other words, the WikiLeaks saga has potentially I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, but please go over to my other channel, Professor Tim's and Thoughts, the suppression of freedom. and that subscribe is what there, Assange and has given us. then you've got two channels to, to um, ferret between. Have fun.